Hello future engineers, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're still new to my channel and you like what I'm doing, please don't forget to share my videos to your friends and to your friends' friends. To your younger brothers and sisters who would want to take up engineering in the future and to your relatives. That's one way you can keep me going, inspired and refreshed. Now if you find my videos interesting and important to your studies, also please don't forget to subscribe. So here is Vitamath 54. Prove that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot 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 plus 2n minus 1 is n square. Use the result to determine the sum of 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to 999. So we observe that these terms are odd numbers and of course they differ by 2 and they are called these terms are in arithmetic series or arithmetic progression. So denoting the, the first term 1 as A1. So let's derive the formula for the sum of arithmetic progression first. If it is your first time. Then let's also show that for this series, the last term is 2n-1. So A1 is the first term of an arithmetic progression. Then A2 is obtained as the first term plus the common difference denoted by D. So A sub 2 is A1 plus D when it is the second term of an arithmetic progression. So the third term, therefore, so we already have a pattern. The coefficient of the second term is 1 for this part 1d so the third term a2 is second plus d so it is a1 plus 2d so a1 plus d plus d or a1 plus 2d that's the third term of an arithmetic progression so then we proceed directly to the last term so we expect that the last term is uh, supposedly second to the last term plus n minus 1 the second to the last term is A1 plus uh, quantity N minus 2 times D. So the last term would be A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Because if the third term has coefficient 2, so it is 3 minus 1, so 2D. Therefore, the last term would have this second term here, quantity n minus 1 times d. So that's the last term. Therefore, the sum is first term plus second term plus third term plus dot 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 the last term. So a1 plus a1 plus d plus quantity a1 plus 2d plus dot 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 plus the last term a1 plus quantity n minus 1 times d. The sum may also be described or represented by if we begin with the last term, so the second to the last term would be a n minus d. Third to the last term is a n minus 2 d up to the first term, and it should be a sub n minus quantity n minus 1 d. So the sum may also be represented beginning with the last term as a n, second to the last term quantity a n minus d, Third to the last term quantity a n minus 2 d plus that 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 first term a n minus quantity n minus 1 quantity times d. So again the sum may also be represented beginning with the last term. So last term plus second to the last term a n minus d. Third to the last term quantity a n minus 2 d. Then up to the first term. So this is the first term represented by the first term because this is supposed to be the last term. So if we equate it to the last term equals a n, then a first term is a n minus this uh, part of the term. So adding adding 2s is equal to a1 plus a n plus quantity a1 plus a n plus this one a1 plus a n plus that 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 plus quantity a1 plus a n. So there will be 
n factors of a1 plus a n because there are all in all n terms. So this a1 up to the n term or last term, last term up to the first term. So there will be n factors of a1 plus a n. Notice that uh, 2d will be out, d will be out after we add these two equations here. And this quantity n minus 1d and negative quantity n minus 1d will also be out. So 2s is equal to n times quantity a1 plus a n because there are n factors of quantity a1 plus a n. So we had can now derive the sum of n terms of an arithmetic progression and it is s equals n over 2 quantity a1 plus a n. So in short, we can easily obtain the, the sum of arithmetic progression. It is simply n times the average of the first and the last. Take note, a1 plus a n over 2 is the average of the first term and the last term. Or simply, we call this arithmetic mean. So s equals n times arithmetic mean. So I just leave the formula in that manner, but take note, the average of the first and the last term is called arithmetic mean. So replacing a n by this expression here, so S is n over 2 quantity A1 plus A1 plus quantity n minus 1 times D. So the general formula for the sum of arithmetic progression is also n over 2 quantity 2 A1 plus quantity n minus 1 times D. So I hope you're familiar with this. If it is your first time, then these are the formulas for the sum of arithmetic progression or arithmetic series just like that. So using this formula here where a1 is 1 and n is just n and the common difference d is 2. So a n is 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times 2. First term a1 plus quantity n minus 1, common difference 2. So that's the, the last term from here. So sim if we simplify this, this is 1 plus 2n minus 2, and 1 plus 2n minus 2 is 2n minus 1 from this uh, series. So therefore, that shows that the last term is really 2n minus 1 for this series here, for this particular series only. So substituting either in this formula or in this formula both will give us the same results. So S is n over 2 quantity 2 times 1 plus quantity n minus 1 times 2. So 2 plus n plus 2n minus 2 is 2n. So the quantity inside the bracket if simplified is 2n. So therefore S is n over 2 times 2n. If we substitute 2n minus 1 here, so 1 plus 2n minus 1 is still 2n, just like this, n over 2 times 2n. So s is n over 2 times quantity 2n, therefore s is really n squared. So that means that we have just proven that 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus that, that, that quantity 2n minus 1 is indeed n squared. So we have demonstrated that this, this is true. So that's it for the first part. For the second part, 999, the last term is 2n minus 1 because that's the last term. So n is 500. Therefore, the sum of 1 plus 3 plus 5 up to 999 is n square 500 square. And that is equal to 250,000. So that 250,000 can also be uh, computed in this formula here. N over 2, 500 over 2 times quantity 1 plus uh, 2 times 500 or 999 or in this formula here. 
So that's it for this problem and I hope that uh, you learn a, another important concepts in mathematics, another important concept in mathematics.